Today, we're gonna be doing one of my favorite experiments ever. Yeah. It's called the watermelon shatter experiment. Um, it's really messy, so we came out to the desert to do it. Uh, and it's so fun, so I invited TJ Smith yeah. to come out and have fun with me. All right. I've done this one for the news a couple times because it's so awesome. And word of precaution, it's very dangerous, so don't try this at home. All right, let's dive right in. All right, so we have 10 watermelons and we're gonna need to take the innards out of all of them. In order to shatter a watermelon, you first need to gut it. There's too much watermelony goodness on the inside to freeze solid. Once it's carved down to just the skin, we drop it in our special 99% isopropyl alcohol dry ice solution. Isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol has a freezing temperature that is lower than dry ice. So when the two are mixed, the isopropyl alcohol doesn't freeze, creating our super cold solution around negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. We rotate the watermelon jack-o'-lanterns around for a bit, and when they feel like Christmas ornaments, they're ready to be shattered. Thank you so much for watching. What was your favorite shatter? Mine was obviously the vacuum cleaner, because that got kind of weird. Yeah, I know. Mine was probably the hammer. I actually accidentally let go of the hammer. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that in the frame, but it was, I was my heart stopped. So. Oh my god, directly towards camera too. Oh my yeah. gosh. Hey. <laughs> Head on over to my channel <laughs> later on because we're gonna be doing some living room experiments together about spicy foods and what is like the level of spiciness and how do you counteract it. So check that out. It's at youtube.com slash TJ. Click on TJ to head over to his channel. Yeah. And um, thank you so much for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. New videos every week. Woo! Dude, that couldn't go to the hand fast. Yeah. Yeah, it did.